hello future me and uh, hey anyone else who might be watching this but i'm being honest here this video mainly exists because future me tends to forget how these challenges were solved in this video i will record how i have solved the side quest challenge of uh, advent of cyber 2025 so let's get started first here we have given this uh, folder uh I mean, something must be residing there not something but another challenge the side quest challenge so let's just copy and uh, let me paste it here and it just uh, went there just let's down the gun and here it is we have a readme file there so let me just uh, change the text yeah better so let me let's just uh, see what's there in this um, text file and here we find it uh the instructions for solving this it is from mccd and uh, uh, we have uh, given that uh, our there must be some encrypted message in some folder and we have to find uh, we have been given three clues and we have to join them in order yeah that's what we have to do and we have given a username and password and so why not first just um log in into that username just let me open another terminal and log in from there okay that's better so the username first the username um um it was um uh, yep this one the password just paste it from the instructions given copy and paste here yeah so yeah we can see that it has changed from max cd to this another user now just uh, let's go back to the home directory yeah so Coming back to the instruction, it says that we have to further and uh, uh, we prepped a message which is here in this directory. This is the documents directory. So let's just check it. What's there in the documents directory? And uh, okay, so there's two files. One is a GPG encrypted file, and another is a normal TXT file. So let's just open this TXT file um not very much important there's nothing useful in it so um here here i'm thinking of doing something uh, of like finding or something uh here because if you have solved the challenges uh, uh, in this room we can see that uh, similar thing has been used here to uh, where is it? Let me just find it. Um, here, here. So they are searching for the home directory to find some file or directories with having the name egg in it. And similar in our instructions, there is uh, the mention of egg, egg, after egg. So I'm thinking of uh, like finding something, some files or directories with this name. Might be useful. God knows. Command for finding that here it is find we also want to search for this user's home directory only nothing else thing okay one more try and here we find it there is some file in the pictures folder and not just see it so first let's move to the pictures folder and uh, oh okay it's a uh, secret file so it uh, we have to use with la flag and or we can just get it and here we find the path fragment three cool nice job so we find the third uh path fragment first just write it down here in my note felt yes so that we don't forget it Okay. So one thing which I have noticed here is the format. It has written is as 
past frag 3 so the other might be written in a way like a past frag 2 or past frag 1 so here i'm thinking of doing something which is not the usual or not the true way of finding other flags but uh, i think uh, we should do it we are hackers so we should solve the um, problems uh, in the smartest way so here i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the grab command and i'm gonna search uh everywhere in uh this directory or uh, not this directory but um uh, for this user with the words uh including parts maybe i can find another two or first so we are getting something oh that's the third one we already found that one and oh we found the first one nice we actually get the first uh, fragment uh, uh, by this method. Lucky us. Okay, let's just copy that. Yeah, all our same. Just copy anything. And paste it. Where am I? And paste it with the other. yeah okay so we have past fragment one and past fragment three now we need two right if it doesn't show up here it means it is not in a file or a traditional file it's not that so we have to find it uh, but something else um about logs but if it is in logs it might be here as well but i not Maybe from logs we can find something. So, to also say the same thing that uh, the rings remember yesterday, read the ledgers, older pages, older pages, I mean, log or something, uh, or some history. Um, let's just um, uh, see what we got. Okay, there is one log file. So, let's just check it first. What is it? Okay, so there is something which uh, has tried to be which uh, someone has tried to visit this site. Let's open it. Are we getting anything? Um, no, we are not getting anything because uh, we have not been given internet access. So I don't think so that there might be anything useful because if it is the case, we might have given the internet access. So let's just close it. Let's see the hidden files. Maybe we can find something in the hidden files because uh, on the surface level files, we didn't find anything. So let's check the hidden files as well. And we find there are three files which contain the word secret in it. It might contain, I'm having this strong feeling that it might contain something important. So let's. There are three files. Let's just go with this uh, git one. Looks like a git repo to me. So let's just move in that. Okay. Oh, ls with ls flag. And yeah, it is a git repo. So we gotta use this command git log with the state flag. Okay, and here we see there are changes. There is a deletion, there is insertion, means a private node has been added, a secret node.txt we have. So let's just show git so with this uh, hash. And here we find Good job, past fragment two. Let's just copy it and uh, just add it in our notepad. And here we have one, two, and three. So now let's just uh, um, connect them all together one by one.
yeah that's our passphrase uh, where is the file we have to decrypt it's in the document yeah it's in the document so let's just move to the document folders here is the file encrypted file just it is in gpc format so just using it with the t flag to decrypt oh no no and um yeah oh permission denied okay we need to be the root user to carry out this task no problem let's just open another current terminal and uh, root user yeah now we are a root user just uh, let's go to the testing folder and uh, here we are okay let's just use the command gp3 with the t flag and max kidding not but pf dot gp3 and yeah asking for the passphrase here we copy this and just paste it enter yeah we unlocked something more, which is a txt file, and it has written something. Okay, okay. So there is the uh, okay. So we have to change the contents of a file with this file at this uh, at this location with this content. Okay, and then there's something else too that we have to do. But now let's just move step by step. And what we have to do. First, let's go to this um, on location and change it, right? So this location, yeah. Let's do it in another terminal. This, not this one, this one, yeah. Now we don't need this instruction. Let's just move, make it root, yeah. Thing, uh, you know. The location is uh, home softmart. We have a file business.txt. Let's open it. And there we have something already been written. Now we have to delete it first. And then we have to add whatever is uh, given in the instructions file. So let's just look, delete it. And we're gonna copy paste it to the wish list text on dot txt file. Yeah, the full one. Just right click, copy, and paste it here. And we're gonna exit and we're gonna save. So now, what it says after that. Uh, okay the site will recognize it okay the site okay we have to open the terminal uh, i mean the firefox my bad the address of the site is this the ip address given just have to copy it and then go to the browser okay taking time yeah we got it just uh, paste the ip address it's not allowing let's just try it with for the um different port yes this right okay we got we got it and uh, there is some okay there is the message which is the uh, encoded encrypted message is there and uh, let's just copy it and we have to given a key i guess that we have to unlock it with yeah yeah, we have given a key and uh, according to the instructions file, it says that uh, we have to decode this ciphertext using OpenSSF. And uh, it says that if you have copied at this location, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my ciphertext at this location only. And then there is a command there, then I will use that only. So first let's copy. So for that, just paste the entire yeah, message and then save it to the EMP website. Yeah. Website dot output. 
.txt. Yeah. Okay, it's not my bad. PMP. Let's just connect it. Yeah, we got it. And then it says that we, then I can just use this command, which is an open SSL command to decode the packet text. Yeah, only these two lines. And it then paste it over here and then let's uh, open the temp directory to see if they got the decoded one or not let's go to the temp directory and let's and yeah we have our website output which is the original encrypted encoded text and then we have a decoded message so let's just open it TXT. Oh, not the doc request decoded my bad sorry yeah okay so one another note there is a flag and it says that uh, if you want to go extra mile or if you want something a little spicier or you have to unlock something at this position at this location okay using the flag it's just Go to this location. Okay, so it's a secret. So I mean it's a hidden. So we have to use dot. And there is an encoded file with the dot gpg extension. It must be encrypted and we have to decrypt it with this flag. Okay, let okay, so dpg decrypt for and this file. Okay, let's just copy it and paste it there. Oh, it okay. So here, I guess it's archive file. So, what, what I'm thinking here is why not just um, um, send this uh, file the decoded file to the temp folder because we have our decoded message and encrypted cipher message decrypted cipher text all in the temp folder so why not just uh, send it to the temp folder too so here yeah i'm gonna use the same command but with the now i'm gonna um get the output at this location and yes we got it yeah you can see there is the file tar.gpz file in uh, our temp folder now we have to extract it so we are using tar with xf flag x is to extract and f is to file name and then the file name we're gonna add that is day dot tar dot dz and enter and ls okay and we got this directory yeah now let's just move in there and yeah we got a flag that is sp1.png flag so let's just see what's there in the flag it is the easter egg and that's the final answer we have a solid many many congratulations and that's it if a future me is watching i hope this helped you remember how you saw this if anyone else is watching well Thanks for sticking around. See you next time. Or not. Bye bye.